One of the most important things to any organization when it comes to endpoint security is visibility. However, this visibility doesn't just extend to things like threats, detections, or other telemetry. It needs to also extend to provide visibility into the unknown. An important unknown is actually knowing your protection level across your endpoints. Are you confident that you have sufficient protection across every endpoint inside your organization? With an exciting update to the Silence Unified Endpoint Security Platform, I'm pleased to show how quickly and easily you can answer this question by providing you visibility into not only your unprotected endpoints, but their name, operating system type and version, and whether the discovered device is running an operating system version that is supported by Silence Protect. Now, let's take a look at the unprotected device discovery feature. To access this feature, navigate to the Assets menu, then select Unprotected Devices. Please note, if the console doesn't recognize that a BlackBerry connectivity node with a directory connection has been configured, you'll be met with a message advising of the fact one needs to be configured. In my lab environment, you can see that I have four machines that currently don't have Silence Protect installed. You'll also see the name of the machine, the host name, distinguish name, operating system, version, discovery type, and whether Silence Protect is supported on these platforms. The last time the endpoint was found is also shown. Each column can also be filtered on. This is particularly handy if the list is large and you really want to filter for specific endpoints. In this example, I've searched specifically for operating systems that are Windows and contain the name server. The list of unprotected endpoints can also be exported either in their entire list form or based on your chosen filter. You can then use this list to push out the Silence Protect agent to ensure these endpoints become protected as soon as possible. One important area to highlight here is that the feature has shown that one of my legacy OT systems that is still running Windows 7 is unprotected. One very important advantage of Silence Protect is the wide ranging operating system support, especially for legacy operating systems like this one. The feature has shown that this operating system is supported and I can now deploy Silence Protect to this endpoint to instantly protect it. Lastly, if your Active Directory cannot retrieve the operating system or version from any given endpoint, the protection status column will show as unsupported as it cannot confirm supportability. For my Ubuntu endpoint, I know that it is running version 20.04 with kernel version 5.15.0-52, which is fully supported by Silence Protect. So I'm able to go and deploy the Silence Protect agent to this endpoint to ensure it is protected. Once an endpoint has Silence Protect installed, upon the next scheduled check, these endpoints will be removed from the unprotected list. This feature requires the latest version of the BlackBerry connectivity node is installed and configured for your environment. At the time of this video, the latest version of the BlackBerry connectivity node is 2.12.1. The BlackBerry connectivity node can be downloaded via the Silence console via the Settings menu, Directory Connections, select the Connectivity Node tab, and then Add Connectivity Node. You'll find the Download button here. For further documentation in regards to installing the connectivity node, you can visit help.blackberry.com for more information. For the unprotected devices feature to display the device operating system and operating system version, you must configure the schema to allow the required attributes to synchronize from the domain controller to the global catalog. On the domain controller, we'll register the schema management DLL by entering regserver32 schmmgmt.dll from the start run menu. When confirmed, you'll see that the DLL register has succeeded. We'll then go to Start, Run, and type MMC. We'll then add the Active Directory Schema from the File, Add, Remove, Snap-in menu. Click Active Directory Schema, Add, then OK. Lastly, we'll update the attributes to synchronize to the global catalog by selecting Attributes from the left-hand side. 
Then in the attributes list, search for and click on operating system and select the replicate this attribute to the global catalog and then OK. Then repeat the same steps for operating system service pack and operating system version. Now you've seen how easy it is to gain visibility into endpoints that reside in your environment that are not only not protected, but also are supported for protection. This feature takes away the unknown and worry of unprotected endpoints inside your organization. Science Protect has a wide ranging list of not only supported operating systems across Windows, Mac OS and Linux, but also supported Linux kernels that ensures you're in a state of prevention.